Hello, I am very excited about this hair wrap challenge because it's a wonderful opportunity for me to tell my testimony. Around the age of 12 years old, I started using a skin bleach because I didn't like my color, the color of my skin. I did not know who I was. No, I didn't. And I made every attempt to be someone else or to be something else. And a lot of that was centered around many of my childhood experiences. So essentially, I was really stripped of who I really was. But this challenge is so exciting for me because it's at this very time is that I've learned who I am by tracing my roots. Yes, yes, I am one of Yah's original. I am in his bloodline and I receive and accept that today. And guess what? I'm loving on that little girl who felt she needed to change her color and be something and someone else. But now this challenge is giving me such hope and restoration and reclaiming who I am in Yah. So yes, I made this head wrap myself. And as I put it on, I began to just kind of shape it and get form. I didn't know how it was gonna turn out. And so the one thing that I'm very excited about the head wrap, if you can see it, is how it has like this shade, is how it has, um, it, I call it like an umbrella because that symbolizes Yah's covering of me, Yah's hand over me. I'm under his pavilion. I'm under his shadow. And every time I look at myself in the mirror with this head wrap on, it just reminds me that I'm under his banner, that I'm under his love. I'm caught up. I'm caught up in it. And I just love it so much. Now, the last thing I'll say is I was recently talking with a relative about wanting to do a head wrap on her. And she said, that's from slavery. That reminds me of the cotton field. I don't want to wrap my head up. So I am grateful and thankful that my, perhaps my testimony can begin to encourage others in seeing the beauty and the sacredness and the call by Yah to wear it well, to wrap it well. And the furthest thing from the truth is that the head wrap symbolizes oppression or slavery or exploitation. But no, it symbolizes the hand protection banner and covering of Yah. I'm Jacqueline. Thank you. That testifying got so good. I had to come back with a second wrap. Now this wrap, again, is my own creation. Yes, is my own idea. It just came to me of what to do. And that's what I love so much about this challenge is that we can be creative, right? So the one thing I think about when it comes to this wrap that I'm wearing right now is being in covenant with Yah, being betrothed with him, being um, immersed in his love, dwelling in him. It, the Bible says, and I love it so much, that says um, we are accepted in the beloved and I am his beloved and he is mine. I love Song of Solomon. That's what I think about. Song of Solomon, where the Shulamite says, I am black. I am lovely. I am black. I am lovely. And it feels so good for that little girl within to hear this older girl say she's lovely and she's black. Yes, I think about Song of Solomon. Um, and you know, another thing, what crossed my mind is that people that would see me when I wear this out, this is my first time. <laughs> But when I wear this out or go somewhere, the stereotypes and what they would assume or think about me, right? 
Um, and so a lot of times when it comes to head wraps, like I shared earlier, someone that said, oh, head wraps were for slavery, being in the cotton field, on plantations. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And I love so much. It's not what people think about me or assume about me. I'm still working on this. It's what I believe about me. And I, I believe this head wrap challenge is going to help so many people. It's going to help so many others as we remove those stereotypes, those labels, those stigmas, which aren't true whatsoever. And so I love this challenge and I look forward to going deeper, deeper within myself, deeper within me, right in here, deeper about the head wrap and this head wrap challenge. It's certainly challenging me to look deeper within. I am black. I am lovely. My name is Jack.